Gotta relax. Yo, what's good, boys and girls? Uh, let's talk about Black Widow. So, I guess we'll just dive right into her playstyle. She's a very takedown slash stun focused character. She builds up a stun meter really quick with her heavy attacks and her auto pistols. And uh, that basically just sets her up for a takedown, or her friends, whichever. But she's really good at setting up takedowns, so she's she's very stun focused. So it, she's also a very aggressive character in that aspect. So if you're if you're looking for a, an aggressive kind of flashy character, because takedowns are probably the flashiest way to take you know to to fucking kill anything in this game. So if you if you're into that, I mean Black Widow might be the character for you. Um, if you're here, you probably already decided that. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about how to play her uh, optimally. So the easiest way to stun enemies is with auto pistols. Uh, there, there's also heavy attacks, which are probably the... She probably has the best uh, heavy attack chain in the game when it comes to stunning enemies. Mainly because after each heavy attack, it more stun damage is added on. So the, fi the final... Uh, the, the combo finisher for the heavy attacks are going to do more more stun damage than the the beginning heavy attack for example so it just gets progressively higher there and it almost fills on most enemies even with zero intensity it almost fills the stun bar up fully so that's obviously a great chain there but th the reason the auto pistols are better is because you can a you can use them from range right not very far but it's a little it's a little distance back because the spread is so wide you got to be pretty close but it also seems to fill the stun bar a little faster than the heavy attacks uh, because the, as it, the, it's kind of like a minigun, the auto pistols. They like spin and uh, they fire quicker the longer you're firing them. So you drain a clip pretty quick, probably faster than a heavy attack chain is, is got off. So it, it stuns quicker. Uh, it also, uh, also you don't get stuck in an animation. It's, it's harder to dodge out of a heavy attack combo than to dodge out of shooting somebody with the auto pistols so you can dodge those fucking lame rockets that are getting bombarded you're getting bombarded by i don't even really i, I think it's those uh peacekeepers or whatever that shoot them but um yeah that that shit is lame sometimes you'll get you'll get messed up by a heavy attack when you're in a heavy attack combo and you get hit by a rocket or three rockets or four rockets or one of the adaptoids uh I think they're aggressive adaptoids, assault adaptoids, something like that, where they go into their little fire mode and they're just hitting you with fireballs seven times in a row. You can't dodge out of it. So auto pistols are better in that regard for sure. And they do build stun better. There's also a little trick I'll tell you guys now. You'll see it in the gameplay, most likely. Uh, the auto pistols, any, any of your weapons, really how Black Widow works for whatever reason, hopefully this doesn't get like patched or something like that, but when you switch off of the any range variation, switch to a different one, like from the auto pistols to the pistols, or the auto pistols to the uh, high caliber pistol, um, it refills the ammo, so if I switch quickly, it, it, it like press right on the d-pad, then left on the d-pad, uh, right on the d-pad to get to the pistol, left on the d-pad to get back to the full auto pistols, uh, they fucking, they're reloaded no animation so you don't have to sit there and get pounded by rockets while you're reloading you can just do that you can do that while you're doing a takedown which is crazy you set yourself up for a takedown with full auto uh, shot and then you're at maybe like 20 ammo 10 ammo then you just do that while you do while you're in the takedown right on d-pad left on the d-pad it's fucking over dude you're, you're you're full on ammo again it's game over like you just keep doing that you always have ammo you never have to sit through a stupid reload animation so I Obviously, that's kind of dumb how they did that. It's stupid, like, it's been done better in other games, but, uh, hey, I'm not going to complain about it. It's It just makes this even better. Um, yeah, there, so basically, you're going to want to stun people with auto pistols, and uh, you, I, I don't really find myself using the counter very often. She has, she has a counter. Uh, about half the roster has a counter. Hers is just the zipline grapple. It's pretty decent, but uh, you don't really need to use the counter. There's even an ability where dodging will give you... <coughs> Jesus Christ. Dodging will give you... Uh, what is it? Shadow Ops, which is her intrinsic, intrinsic ability. It'll give you Shadow Ops stuff for a perfect dodge uh, meter or whatever. So it, it's even the game seems to want you to dodge more than use the counter. Not to mention, you can't always use the counter. There's a lot of the unblockable attacks, uh, the red, the red flashy sh 
shit that'll fuck you up if you try to counter it so i wouldn't rely too much on that but the actual intrinsic ability is okay you shouldn't really build it in the beginning uh, but i'll talk about that more in the skills uh, but yeah for the play style the intrinsic meter is pretty good when it gets filled up it's kind of hard to fill it up especially since you have to stay untouched even a little bit of fire if you walk through fire some of these maps do have it uh, you're, you're gonna drain your intrinsic because any damage will nullify it back to zero but once it is full there you, you do get a lot of buffs if you're if you focused on that but I, I wouldn't until the very end I still haven't built it up I'm like 47 or something like that I have a few more left but that I've kind of left in the dust but yeah that's good the grapple that she has is pretty good it can get you you can do some flashy shit with it especially with the drones it's, it's pretty good in that regard sometimes you're better off just using the high caliber shot to take down drones but uh, if, if, if you're feeling up up for it you know sometimes melee attacks are, are better in some circumstances but you can like zip between uh, the drones and take them down some of the flying enemies too since they have so much health you want to bring them to the ground uh, the guys with like the jetpacks and shit but yeah um, so that's that's pretty much her play style she's very stun focused uh, takedown focused so let's uh, let's move on to the skills here then all right so for the skills uh, I'm just gonna go over the ones that are are primary to basically the build uh, this is this is what I'd say is the best build because it's it's stun focused uh, like I said, it's going to make use of full auto shot. It's going to make use of uh, just a lot of stu different stun skills that will boost your stun damage, mainly with full auto shot. Uh, there are also some that will build stun damage elsewhere, but uh, I'll talk about the skills. I'm not going to mention every single skill to get. I'll just tell you what skills are are perfect, are the ones that you want to work towards. So, for example, like uh, if I say perforator you're going to need to get high caliber shot before you get perforator so if i say that just build your way towards it but first up what you're going to want to do this should be you should be the proper level i think i've done the math correctly if not you can just grab you should only have to grab one skill before you get one of the, like the skill that i'm talking about uh, and that can be whatever you want like if you, if you require level six but you're only like level five uh, just get a just grab a skill um, but I think I've done the math properly but here's the first skill the first one we're gonna go for is full auto shot then you're gonna wanna gr grab stun rounds then you're gonna wanna grab high caliber shot then right after that go for perforator then head over to unseen fate then grab splinter kick then you should be able to get your sp support specialization. Uh, I wasn't able to, to see what the level requirement for the, the specializations. It might be higher. Um, if that is the case, just grab uh, whatever skills you can. You might want to specialize maybe a little bit in the heavy attack tree. Um, but if, you, if, if, if not, you should be able to get the, the skill after this. But for the support specialization one, you're going to want to get Night Terror for sure. You definitely want that one. Then Wrist of Stingers. If you if you weren't able to spec yet, like I said, just go into different things. I wasn't 100% sure. I would have had to make a new account to see again. wasn't going to fuck with that. But after Wrist of Stingers, go to Assault Specialization 2 and either get Paralyzing Bite or Lethal, lethal Bite. Paralyzing Bite will increase your stun damage. Lethal Bite will give you another charge. It depends what you want. Uh, it's kind of a tough call. The, the assault spec is, is actually, or the assault skill is more, I feel like more of a damaging skill. I don't, I don't get a lot of stuns off it a lot, even with Paralyzing Bite, because it seems to kill pretty quick. Um, so I might go for Lethal Bite, but Paralyzing Bite will help to, especially if you're going against tougher enemies like a, uh, uh, Adaptoid. Like, Paralyzing Bite will help you get the stun on them. Uh, and then for the, uh, the you're going to want to get Assault Spec 1 right after that. Get the Taser Dart or Super Static Dart. Uh, taser Dart will stick to the enemy. Uh, I think it, I think it uh, does a little more damage to single target. But uh, Super Static Dart will just increase the range. So it kind of depends if you want to do a single target enemy. Or if you want to target a big group for, I think, a little less damage. I got, taser Dart has to do like more stun damage or, or something. I'm not 100% sure. I, it doesn't say this, the statistics on the actual ability but it just doesn't make any sense otherwise I've, I've been using it I think it's pretty good the fact that it sticks but you might want to just play it safe go with super static it will hit 
um, a couple enemies at a time if they're grouped up. But after that one, you're going to want to go for the range specialization. Um, I believe this one is under the utility category and mastery. You should be 15 at this point. Uh, get, getting all the different skills that led to the skills I've said as well should get you at 15. Uh, so you're going to want to do range spec and a stun damage. This is going to greatly improve. Uh, it's 15% which plus 15% from stun rounds earlier. It's 30% increase to stun damage on your full auto. It's really good um, After that you're gonna want to do the takedown spec and do willpower takedown mastery uh, This will basically just give you more health when you do a takedown because we're not really building health in our stats So it's gonna be nice that you basically get back to full health after every takedown and then for the final thing I want you to get is stealth attack specialization invisible stun just so that when you use your support ability when you go invisible you can get the stun on enemies quicker lower their health to low and then uh, earlier you should have got unseen fate and you'll be able to take them down when they're low on health and finish them off so that's all the skills I'd say to get those are the pivotal ones to the build after you get all those you can you can pretty much pick whatever you want at that point um, I don't I think maybe uh, I probably would go for the masteries and the specializations first and then maybe go to, into your intrinsic intrinsic skill and then grab whatever not uh, other nonsense there is there might be like uh, some of the heavy attack light attack stuff in there uh, or you can finish off your ranged but after these all these skills I mentioned uh, you can really go into anything you want so let's uh, let's let's finish this off with uh, statistics what you want to build into all right so let's talk stats here so Many don't actually know what a lot of the stats do, especially at the beginning of the game. You're going to be kind of fucking clueless. I know I was. Tried looking it up. Nobody gave a shit. Um, might be stuff out there now, but basically what you're going to want to focus on is might and intensity. Uh, might is basically just your melee damage. This, uh, I, think it, I think takedowns are actually a multi uh, multiplier of just your base melee damage. At least that's what I've been seeing. So... Uh, the higher your might, the higher your takedown damage is going to be, as well as the higher damage you're going to do when you're doing uh, your heavy melee attacks to stun, which obviously, like I said earlier, you're going to want to stun with range attacks more often uh, with your auto pistols, but for when you do do melee attacks, it'll help, but this is basically mainly for uh, your takedown damage. Um, also, the, uh, another stat which you should focus on, which is going to be just as high as might, most of your gear at endgame, you know, honestly, I would, as you're building your character, I wouldn't focus on stats too much. I'd focus more on power because as your power goes up, the gear that drops is going to be higher. So you're going to want to focus on, on power more than uh, stats until the end of the game when you're like around my power, probably even around the max, like closer to the max, 150. Uh, but you're going to want to focus on might and intensity, intensity as well. Most people, uh, the shit I've read is fucking wrong about intensity. People can't fucking read, I guess. Uh, they say that intensity is just, uh, you know, oh, it's it's your status effects. Like, you won't get, you'll get out of status effects faster and uh, they won't affect you as much. Like, yeah, that's part of fucking intensity. But the part that actually matters is it actually ups your stun damage. Might doesn't up stun damage. Intensity does. So I, I think I had, my intensity bonus is 50%. So I am stunning people. Uh, at 1.5 times the rate as somebody who has zero intensity so you're gonna really want to focus on intensity I'd say if you had to focus more on one than the other like let's say might like you have a piece of gear and uh, it's you have two pieces of gear one piece of gear has 32 might and 30 intensity another has 32 intensity and 30 might I would take the one that has more might because Intensity, I think it's got some some kind of soft cap at around 50%. Uh, I could be wrong about that though, but uh, might continues to scale. Even if I am wrong about that, uh, I think the takedown damage is more important than a few percent. You know, because the take if the takedown is a multi multiplicative of just uh, base damage, then the more base damage you have, if you have a few more points in base damage, it's let's say you have three more damage versus one percent in intensity and stun damage you know uh, do you want to stun one percent faster or do you want to do let's see if I, I said there's two damage do you want to do like six to eight damage to eight more damage you know I, I, I take the damage uh, and then if if you have uh, another option you know if, if you don't have the option to have both might and intensity on one like if you have a piece of gear that has uh, might and precision you're gonna want to favor precision because that's going to up your range damage and you're obviously going to be doing the most 
the most damage you're going to be doing is takedown damage. But in order to build up the stun meter, you have to use your ranged, uh, your auto pistols. So favorite precision if you can't get a might and intensity uh, drop. Obviously, at end game, you need to have everything be might and intensity. I'd say, but um, as you're building up, you know, might, intensity, precision. Those are three. Uh, the three main things. All others are up to personal preference. I'd say. Uh, if, if you if you find a gear a, <coughs> a piece of gear with fucking uh, I don't know might and uh, resilience or some shit like that obviously you can put it on it's just not it's not a big deal but at the end of the game you're gonna want might and intensity maybe some precision here and there but uh, yeah that's it for the stats and uh, that's pretty much it for the guide so just for a little recap just uh, you know build uh, build the skills I told you about and then you should be good but as a playstyle kind of rule use those auto pistols uh, mainly and just get those takedowns uh, and if, if you've got this might and intensity up uh, you should be you should be pretty good you'll be getting stun damage really quick with a high intensity with that high might you'll be able to do fucking ridiculous damage with the takedowns um, and yeah just remember to press right and left on the d-pad reload that gun without uh, those auto pistols without wasting your time on a stupid reload animation but yeah that's it for uh for this guide hope you guys enjoyed if you did uh if you felt like oh shit i actually learned something i'm actually probably going to do a little bit better on the character you don't have to spend three days trying to learn what the fucking stats mean what uh, what skills to build into you know leave a like on the video maybe leave a comment if you have any questions you know further questions i can always answer them uh, leave a comment below, and uh, if you want to see more content like this, if you want to see another guide, comment, and uh, drop a sub, you know, subscribe, it's free, guys, there's no, no reason not to, you know, but, um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, uh, peace the fuck out.